Hi, I'm Fiera Vittorio, I'm an activist of uh, International Solidarity Movement and uh, I was arrested uh, last Friday in Abisale during the weekly demo uh, of the village. Uh, I was arrested and uh, um, beaten very strong by seven soldiers that uh, uh, start to follow me on the hill while uh, I documenting uh, the, uh, ar the attempt of the arrest of uh, Mohamed Tamimi that uh, it's a small kid that had uh, a cast uh, on his uh, arm because he uh, was uh, already uh, injured after um, a tear gas ride in the village uh, the days before. Uh, while I tried to document in that, uh, the soldiers uh, start to follow me and uh, trying also to shoot uh, me the rubber bullets. And uh, uh, when I arrive on me, they push me on the ground and start to beat me with uh, the kick, uh, with the punch uh, and with the rifle on the head especially. Uh, after that they um, uh, bring me and, uh, in, down the hill where there was the jeep and, uh, and, uh, and take another Palestinian, Mahmoud Tamimi. And uh, we, we um, were another time uh, um, pushed on the ground and beat it in another time under the jeep. So the, uh, the reason was that the people cannot see what, uh, what's going on. Uh, after that we were uh, um, carried on the jeep and beat it another time again and uh, put uh, in the ground of the jeep, injured, humiliated and uh, uh, uncuffed with the kufia. We arrive in some minutes uh, in the military base, the soldiers uh, uh, throw us uh, outside of the jeep and uh, push uh, another time on the ground, beat again uh, on the head with the rifle and the, the kicks and uh, um, and cuff me with the, the ties, me and the Mahmoud Tamimi. Uh, we stayed for uh, six hours in a uh, uh, military base and uh, in this military base we stayed uh, uh, with the bandage uh, so blindfolded and uncuffed, in, uh, seated on the ground without uh, any right to call uh, the lawyer or uh, have uh, other type of uh, support. Uh, after six hours they uh, uh, bring us uh, in the police station of Benjamin, where they stayed uh, 45 minutes uh, blindfolded and, and, and cuffed without no one that seated in a chair without no one that uh, speak with us or uh, help us. Uh, after that they decided to remove the blindfold but not uh, but not the the handcuffed and they removed the handcuffed only when uh, um, we had to speak with the with the investigator. In this moment, uh, I uh, finally can call my lawyer. And uh, uh, after a very short call, okay, um, the I investigator uh, showed me the charge, uh, the charge that was uh, throwing stones, throwing other objects, and uh, participating, uh, joining an illegal demonstration. Because uh, all the demonstrations that uh, in the, uh, happening in the West Bank for uh, Israeli government is an illegal demonstration. So, um, like the demonstration on Abisali, while the people uh, protest against uh, the illegal settlement uh, and the illegal confiscating of the springs and the, the land for the Israeli is an illegal demonstration and they have the right to arrest you without any reason. Um, after this uh, uh, interrogation, uh, I was uh, uh, put in a room and uh, uh, I, um, I stayed uh, until uh, the 3 o'clock of the afternoon of the day after. 
uh, without uh, any right, I had only a mattress and uh, I was completely forgetted by the people. At 3 o'clock they uh, bring me to the Lord uh, jail system in 48 and uh, um, in, in the evening uh, there was a trail. So um, during the trail um, I didn't have the right to explain my position, I only asked to uh, continue to uh, confirm my not guiltiness uh, about these facts, but the judge decided to uh, um, continue the uh, imprisonment for uh, another one day and half. And uh, after uh, this time, uh, there will be another uh, trial. In the uh, time that I passed in, uh, in the jail, um, I was uh, put in a jail with uh, Israeli uh, prisoners and uh, all the prisoners and uh, all the guards of the jail know what was my charge and it was very clear the strategy to um, show I told the people what was my charge for uh, making my situation more bad as possible. So um, I stayed in this jail uh, with uh, uh, all the um, uh, aggressivity and the um, uh, reaction of the other prisoners uh, and uh, all the other guards that know that I was against Israel. So it was uh, uh, a very um, bad uh, situation uh, for my um, control of the emotions, uh, for my, also for my physical integri integrity. Um, in this jail, uh, the prisoners haven't right, they don't have right to change the clothes, they don't have right to um, call the lawyer, and uh, all the situation uh, is uh, very very absurd because uh, non, um, you can only wait the next trial. Um, in the next trial uh, that I had, uh, I had was in uh, Monday, in Monday uh, the 31st of August and uh, the judge decided to uh, release me uh, under a caution, uh, caution because uh, um, they want to extend the, the time for the trial for uh, uh, take other evidence about my situation, about my charges. Um, what I can say? I can say that uh, I didn't do nothing I, um, about my charge, I only documenting the continued violation that uh, the Israeli army and the Israeli police uh, uh, repeatedly continue to uh, do with the Palestinian, not only in the uh, demonstration but uh, in all the days uh, in the West Bank. And, uh, mm, uh, my situation was uh, a bit more easy than uh, uh, the situation of Palestinian because uh, I had the privileges of uh, international, so uh, mm, I can uh, be deported or I can be um, a good lawyer, uh, a good uh, um, advocacy system, uh, so more rights than Palestinians. If uh, for, for the same uh, charge, the Palestinians uh, have to um, maybe stay in uh, the detention for uh, for years uh, with the administrative detention that is a completely legal system, the judge can uh, uh, renew the time uh, of the imprisonment uh, without any evidence, without any um, proof. Uh, so. Um, it's a completely legal system that uh, uh, every Palestinian can uh, can be uh, suffer. So um, my situation to um, 
reflect uh, the real situation here. Uh, in my opinion, it's not important that uh, the media, mainstream or not mainstream, uh, uh, spread uh, this information when uh, there is an international that uh, uh, is arrested, uh, like uh, is uh, uh, extraordinary things, uh, is extraordinary news. Uh, the problem is uh, that the media have to uh, spread the information of all the day, all the quotidianity of the Palestinians, uh, that uh, all the day are violated uh, their rights. Uh, are uh, abused, uh, are uh, completely harassed from settlers and soldiers, uh, and uh, the international uh, pressure uh, don't do nothing, uh, but also uh, turn the, the face in the other side, also or support Israel. So uh, I, I hope that uh, these uh, um, testimonials is important for uh, um, spread this uh, Palestinian cause. Uh, because my situation uh, is uh, only the um, less uh, uh, complicated situation that can be happen uh, with the Palestinian. So uh, the Palestinian risk uh, more uh, years of imprisonment uh, without uh, uh, the right to defend, uh, to have uh, a, a right process. Uh, and uh, the respect of the human rights and the respect of uh, his uh, human being.